just held the first Women in Science Forum at Andela, Uganda. And encouraging women, more women to join technology is one of Andela's core principles. We want to have more women in technology and today's event is just a stepping stone in the right direction. More women in technology means changing the world. So that's, that's why we have these activities to give the public a general appreciation of, of, uh, of, of how science contributes to their life and how they too can become more aware of how they, they get involved and how they can grow STEM. So right now we're what we are in what we call the digital revolution, sweeping over everybody. It's a revolution that doesn't care if you're male or female, and it has come to disrupt things that are very close to us, you know, like jobs, how we interact with our families, how we communicate, how we study. We believe in science, we believe in educating scientists, we believe in playing a part in forming the future leaders in technology across the world. I can become a scientist and most people think that as girls we don't have that brain that makes us to become scientists. Me, I love science because science is more practical. In the past we've not had secondary school students walking into Andela in their uniforms and asking questions on how to join Andela or how to be better at technology. These are people who are just starting out in physics, economics, math. They, are, they want to know what does software really mean? Do they have to be excellent at sciences or not? We had a conversation about mentoring and as, as a tool for bridging the gender divide in STEM. We're just trying to get them to be able to exist in the era that we're in now. I, I can only say I think the future is bright. I'm so glad we did this. Uh, finding out lots of people that are going out of their way to, to make science education fun for for people, lots more initiatives than I knew about. So I feel that, that our goal of taking stock of what's happening in, in STEM in Uganda um, is, I mean, I mean it's only been the first event of the Science Week, but I feel like we are getting there and just the information that I've gotten today is already a wealth of what we could do with next year.